Oh, elbows up start. Coming out turn number four and down to front straight away into turn number one and two up front. It's going to be Mitchell Mole showing away. Here comes the number five car. Thought Seavey's going to thread the eye of the needle there and punch himself up into the number two spot. Instead, he'll settle back into third as they race their way through turn number three and four and onto the front straightaway. Hops giving a jump out front. Moles showing away. Leads lap number one. Works it down low on a 74X out. Turn number two and down to back straightaway. He's got to run on Grant into three. C.J. Leary, meanwhile, trying to make a move up front. We got him side by side as Leary powers off the bottom and right into another spot as he will pick off the number five car. So he'll continue to work the extreme bottom of the racetrack for the number 69, and that's going to throw him back into the clutches of the 77M. Here comes a run at Bacon. Gosh, and coming out, Bacon blows the right rear on the 69. Kept it from going over, but my goodness gracious, that could have went horribly awry right there for the number 69 car. It's Tanner Thorson. I believe currently holds the record for best debut, finished second in his first feature event with the MSOL USAC National Sprint Cars, and Moles better be careful. So he shot the cushion down in turn number one and two and opened himself up to attack. See, he wasn't able to capitalize. But knowing Logan, he might be in a little bit of conservation mode as we got him side by side back behind Leary looking at P3. Little conglomeration of not chaos, but competition. Here comes the charge out tight to the wall. Down into the corner, Jake Swanson's going to give up a spot. 77 M car able to slide on through. And CJ Leary moves into P3 and onto the podium out of turn number two and out of the back straightaway. He just slings that baby into turn number one and two and lets it sweep out across a little slide job on lap traffic. As they will battle back. Meanwhile, Leary taking a look at second out, turn number two and down the back straightaway. More than a look, he's got it. 11 laps remain. Leary trailing now by 3.2 seconds to your race leader. And there's the caution flag he needed. Got some debris down in turn number four, bringing out the caution flag. Getting ready to get with the giddy up. So we'll send him down in turn number one. And two, Leary's going to attack. Here he comes down the inside. Good restart for 77M. Try to steal that lane away from Mitchell Moles. Moles tried to cross down the inside. He'll get ambushed by yet another car. And Bowles goes from first to third real fast. Is Logan CB able to get through in the number five? Bowles off his game plan now, kind of hopping around. Missed his marks. When Leary got to the inside, kind of upset the number 19 AZ car. And now another one goes to work on him. That's going to be Jake Swanson down the inside. Bowles able to hold him off, get a good drive. Coming out turn number two and down to back straightaways. He'll try to get a run on Logan CB. So they see the white flag and send it around here for the final voyage of velocity. Don Smith Classic out here at Terre Haute Action Track. The number 77, Emma C.J. Leary looking to pick this one up, put that one into the books. So he'll race out turn number four. Checkered flag comes out from six to first for Leary. Here he comes, race fans. Make some noise. C.J. Leary picking up the win here tonight. C.J. This win has to be a long time coming for you. Your dad came over and he just said, finally, finally, you did it. How's it feel to now finally be a winner at the Terre Haute Action Track? Man, this one definitely rates up there pretty high. You know, uh, this place has uh, escaped me time and time again. I've never been really that good here. So I think my best finish before tonight was fourth. So uh, it feels pretty special to park this thing down in Victory Lane. I worked my butt off there uh, those last 10 laps, you know. Uh, Mitchell was really good. You know, I knew before that yellow, I think he had the race one, and he was so so far out there. But uh, I felt like if I could break his momentum on the restart and maybe get in front of him, that we had a car fast enough to win. So uh, I just can't thank my dad and Bill Michael and Dan Pace and Gray Otto, uh, Highsmith Guns, you know, just uh, Kodiak Products, everybody that helps put in time on this thing. Uh, man, I know we... We heard a motor in Kansas last week, and I know Bill's been working his butt off the shop trying to get that motor put back together so we could uh, get it back in the car. So, uh, man, that was uh, that was uh, an impressive 30 laps, so I'm uh, pretty tuckered. Tonight you tied Sheldon Kinzer for 10th on the all-time list when it comes to Fast Time Awards with the National Series. And as we were just talking about, you pick up your first win here at the action track. How special has tonight been for not only you, but your family and team as a whole? 
Uh, super special. You know, these guys work really hard, and, you know, we've been racing for 10 years, and we've never been able to win a sprint car race here. So I won my very first USAC race here in a Silver Crown car in 2016. So to finally get this, it's uh, super, super rewarding. And, uh, you know, the only thing that would make it better if Christy Bamis was here, you know, she's uh, off having a good time in Oklahoma with her friends. C.J. Leary once again, his 17th career national win, but this one is probably the sweetest. He's your winner at the Don Smith Classic.